Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the use of vibrance and saturation. So, therefore, we have to open an image. So, you can just go for the previous way of adding some image. And that is called, you have to go for create new option. And from there, you have to uh, use the place embedded option. But uh, I'm using the shortcut because in my tab, we have a recent image. Therefore, I'm just opening this image. And here is the image. Okay. Now, I will apply vibrance and saturation to this image. And for applying the vibrance and saturation you have to go for adjustment tab so this is the adjustment tab and you can see here we have the option for vibrance and inside this vibrance you will have the saturation actually vibrance and saturation is working for making your image more active so let's start the process for using the vibrance and saturation so this triangle shape this is called the vibrance so let me click this vibrance icon then you will have the vibrance and saturation setting. So let's start with the vibrance first. So you can see here we have zero value and the pointer of vibrance placed at middle. So if you want to increase the vibrance, you just have to move this pointer at right side. So once you will move this pointer at right side, you will have the active vibrance. So let me show you. And you can see here now 98 point is in increased for vibrance and you can see here a vibrance layer is added so do you really think any impact is applied to the image therefore we have to we have to take a look between before and after therefore i am turning off the vibrance layer you can see here a small change is applied let me turn it on okay we have seems a little more active now if you focus on the sky in this sky part then you will be able to understand properly let me turn it off vibrance is gone let me turn on vibrance is on okay so we increase the vibrance because we move the pointer at right now i will show you what is happening once it will reduce the vibrance let me reduce the vibrance okay now you can see we don't have any active color in this image now it seems as like a vintage image. So I hope now you got the idea between difference of vibrance. So let me turn it off. Now we have the genuine image and once I applied this vibrance layer, then it seems as like a vintage image because I reduced the maximum number of vibrance. Okay, so let me place at the zero. Okay, so we learned about the vibrance. Now, time for saturation. Actually, vibrance is added a small effect or small impact of image. But saturation applied very strong impact. Therefore, I'm increasing the saturation right now. So therefore, this is the pointer. Let me increase the saturation. Therefore, I have to move the pointer at right side. Now you can see here, we have very strong saturation. Okay, let me turn off the vibrance layer. Okay, this is our actual image. Now it seems more active. Okay, once I turned on, we have strong sky, we have strong green color as well as we have strong water color in here. And what will happen if you decrease or reduce the saturation point? Let's see it turned into black and white because I just reduced the saturation level at maximum. So this is the basic use of vibrance and saturation for making the active image or making the more live image. So let me increase little vibrance and saturation. Now you can see it looks much active than before. 